Good evening, everyone. I'm Sandra Bookman. Joe has the night off. Authorities say the wounded Douglas Miguel Rodriguez saved another man's life when the shooters came into that kosher store where he worked. Eyewitness News reporter Naveen Dhaliwal has the story. Inside this funeral home with his wife and 11 year old daughter in front, they honored a man, a hardworking man who lived a quiet life. He came here for a better life, for a different life, to earn money. Douglas Rodriguez was from Ecuador. He was a breadwinner working inside this kosher store Tuesday when two suspects opened fire, killing the 49 year old and two others in the shop but not before he was able to help another man escape. To see courageous acts like that, um, just regular citizens, it uh, you know makes me proud to serve this country. It was chaos after police say a man and a woman killed detectives Joseph Seals at a cemetery and then went on a rampage targeting that kosher store. In total, six dead, including the suspects. The evidence points towards acts of hate. I can confirm that we're investigating this matter as potential acts of domestic terrorism. The New Jersey Attorney General now helping the FBI with this investigation, calling this a hate crime and consoling the Douglas family tonight. <laughs> Earlier this week, Martha Ferrier, Rodriguez's widow, speaking through tears, saying, my husband was a good husband, a good father. And tonight, as she grieves, she has forgiveness in her heart. She said, I already forgave his murderers, and I pray for his murderers and his family. And as the family is getting ready to say their final goodbye, they also tell us that they're in the process of getting Rodriguez's body sent back to Ecuador, his home country, as that was his wish. In Patterson, Naveen Dhaliwal, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Stay with Eyewitness News and ABC 7 NY for continuing coverage of this investigation into the Jersey City shootout. You can also get information on our free news app.